You thought we were done with this thing, didn't you? You thought we'd just take some components and upgrade it? And we'd call it a day? Nah. We are not done with this thing yet. Today, we're going to take this thing from a restoration to a full-blown sleeper gaming PC. And that starts with this. Some Ryzen horsepower. Let me show you how it works. As part of the upgrade, let me show you some of the uh, specs that we're going to be rocking in the new machine. So for a um, sleeper PC, obviously you can't just go with any components. You got to get the new modern stuff. Now, I, uh, I couldn't really afford to go get like a 5950 or I guess a 7950 uh, XT or, or whatever the, whatever the um, X3D, 7950 X3D or whatever the, the newest chip is at the time. But I did settle for something that's quite a bit more modern than the reference machine that we're upgrading. And um, these specs are going to be awesome. They should uh, be able to play lots of games for us and last us uh, quite a while and be definitely overkill for the, uh, the period of the machine that we're um, upgrading. So, as you might recall, that machine is dated around 2007-2008. Um, so, what we're going to be putting in here, uh, I already have the motherboard prepped. I, I prepped it ahead of time. Um, just because the putting it together isn't really the point of this video. The point is that we're actually, you know, um, upgrading it and, and turning it into a sleeper PC with these awesome, much, much higher end specs. So let me go ahead over it. Uh, I got the Gigabyte uh, X470 motherboard. I actually did a video on that um, previously, so you can go check that out. Um, I, where I unboxed the motherboard. It's um, practically brand new, untouched motherboard so it's it's going to be great uh going to work very nicely for us actually might even allow some overclocking in the future because i think this x470 i believe we can actually go all the way up to a 5950x chip so that's 16 cores 32 threads which is absolutely insane so that's that's really cool um i believe we can actually get there on this particular board i believe x470 would support it um, might need a BIOS update. We'll, we'll see. I'm not, that's not really on the, on the docket right now anyway. Um, so that's the motherboard. Uh, right here we have the Ryzen 5 3600X. Uh, very, very good chip. Um, was the mid-range gaming king for a, for a long, long period of time. Uh, obviously a Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 would have been a little bit better, but wasn't really in the budget for now. Oh, um, maybe in the future, but right now this is what I had, and hey, a 3600X is, uh, is a lot better than what was in that uh, Dell originally. I think it was a Core 2 Quad Q6600, so this will be quite a decent step up there. And then we have 32 uh, gigs of DDR4. I believe this is uh, 3000 megahertz uh, or mega transfers, and um, 32 gigs of CL16 3000 mega transfer uh, RAM, and then uh, for our boot drive, we actually have uh, NVMe storage. So we have a Samsung 970 Evo Plus 500 gig, so half a terabyte of high-speed NVMe storage. You know, Samsung SSDs are one of my favorite brands. They're pricey, they're pricey, but I did get a good deal on this one um, because it was a, a open box unit on Amazon, so I was able to get quite a few dollars shaved off of that, so very good, very good value there, um, very good SSD, so this thing is going to be an absolute baller going into that gaming PC, um, or going into that, that Dell XPS uh, case. Um, I also do have the uh, IO shield, so we can actually put the IO shield on the back. Uh, oh man, it's going to look so good. Think about it. Think about it. You go up, you get that Dell XPS, it's all retro looking, and it's aluminum and red and then you go on the back and you see that <laughs> yeah so that's going to look really cool uh i'm very excited um so yeah that is the that is the general uh idea what we're going for here those are the the specs of the system but i'm sure that you're very curious right this is a sleeper pc right 
This is a, a sleeper gaming PC that we're building. We want to play some games on it, right? What GPU is going to be going in the system? Very good question. Let me go get it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the GPU that will be going in our sleeper PC. Uh, an Asus GTX 1070. Now, I know the 10 series is a little bit dated by now. It's not the newest thing. You know, I probably could have gone for maybe a 2070 or 2080 or 3070 if I really wanted to go for that, you know, latest and greatest uh, sleeper PC look. But again, compared to the machine, you know, that um, we're upgrading, this is almost a decade newer. So, <laughs> I think... I think it's great. A, a, a Ryzen 5 3600X and a 1070, we should be sitting pretty in terms of our gaming performance there. So uh, one of the biggest challenges that I had to face here was that power supply in the computer. Um, it's a 750 watt power supply which has is going to have no problem powering a 3600X and a 1070. That should not be a problem at all. But as you can see here, it has an 8 pin power connector. So I actually had to go on eBay. This was cost me like eight bucks or something, and buy one of these. Um, it is a dual six-pin female to eight-pin male adapter. So the uh, power supply actually has two connectors for six pins. Um, so what I'm going to do is adapt these two six-pin connectors into a uh, eight-pin connector. Um, so yeah, what I thought was interesting on this uh, this power connector was um, if you look. Actually, it's kind of interesting how it works. So, if you look at the um, the terminals here, there are basically each six pin connector has uh, three voltage lines and three ground lines. Now, when they go into the eight pin, it's actually kind of interesting. Each of the um, ground connectors goes into an individual socket for a total of six, actually, no, five, yeah, five ground, uh, one actually they share, it has two cables going into it, but all of the voltage lines, all three of them, have dual voltage going into them from both connectors. So that's three, ground, uh, three voltage connectors, five ground connectors. Theoretically, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a dual six pin to a single eight pin connector, so Theoretically, a lot of the voltage coming from these two six-pin connectors is going to be redundant. Um, so you don't want to have too much voltage going into it. And theoretically, I think a lot of the um, connectors on the eight-pin side aren't even going to be utilized. So it makes sense just to terminate those with a ground. Um, I actually haven't looked up... I haven't looked up the schematic for how um, these PCI power connectors are wired up. I know it's basically voltage and ground, but I believe there's also a there's a control pin that I'm missing um, that talks to the power supply um, for something. So yeah, I'm now that I think about it, I don't think this should just be yellow and black. They should have one more color for a control pin, but I mean it's just wire colors, so it's probably fine. But this is what I'm going to be using to power up the 1070. So that is going to be the guts of the new PC. We got NVMe storage, we got a 1070, we have a uh, Ryzen 5 3600X, 32 gigs of RAM. This is going to be a badass machine inside that badass retro looking Dell case. I'm so excited, so excited. Um, the old stuff that we're going to be pulling out of there, the uh, i7-960 and the GTX-660, um, you know, those are still solid components for a lower-end system. I'll, uh, I'll find a way to repurpose those, but um, I actually do have a video upcoming, uh, well, an idea for a video at least, um, repurposing that i7-960. It's going to be kind of an interesting video. I'm, I'm still kind of working through how it's going to how it's going to look, but um, should be pretty cool. But anyway, um, this is what we have for upgrading our PC. So I guess without further ado, let's get started on the upgrading process.
look at it. Look at it in all of its retro and modern sleeper PC glory. I actually didn't realize this at the time, but if you can actually tell, um, both the motherboard and the GPU are uh, RGB. It's a shame that the um, aluminum PC case is going to be hiding it, but who needs RGB when you have this beautiful, shiny, polished aluminum? And red. Don't forget red. Yes. Anyway, I got it all put together and my AC just turned on. And we have a boot screen, or at least a post. Not necessarily the BIOS yet. We'll get there though. We'll get there. And there you have it. I upgraded it once, and I upgraded it again, baby. What do you guys think? I think she's a pretty good looking sleeper, if I do say so myself. So, we have in here a GTX 1070. And down here, a little hard to see, we have our Ryzen 5 3600, 32 gigs of RAM. I think we didn't do too bad here, guys. But let me know what you think down below. Uh, I think that this is a pretty good sleeper. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, the case is beautiful, and now we have some good looking hardware to go along with it. And this thing's going to be playing games for years to come. So, very, very satisfied with how it turned out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing me upgrade this little lady. And uh, be on the lookout for some more videos coming up. So I really enjoyed this project. I like the uh, I like the sleeper PC aesthetic. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.